paraphrase is your own, usually shorter, version of ideas and information expressed by someone else that you are now presenting in a new form. Paraphrasing instead of direct quotations has its advantages. It is a faster way to provide essential information, and it ensures that you understand the full meaning of what you're reading. This is a great way for your instructors to judge that you truly understand the material. When paraphrasing, use your own words and your own sentence structure. It is not enough to just exchange synonyms or move clauses and phrases around. The structure of the sentence needs to be altered. Your instructors should hear your voice in your writing. Direct quotations are used sparingly in scientific and professional writing. When paraphrasing, you must include an in-text citation and a full citation to the original source. Here is a sample paraphrase. The original is on the left. The small print at the bottom is the full reference. The paraphrase is on the right. Notice that the paraphrase does include an in-text citation to the original source. The author's last name and year are in parentheses after the paraphrase. While the in-text citation is correct, this is not a good paraphrase. The first sentence is too similar. It is not enough to remove a few words from the sentence. The sentence structure is the same. Likewise, in the second sentence, the writer merely swaps out synonyms for the words in the original sentence. Even though there is an in-text citation, this is an example of plagiarism because the paraphrase is too close to the original. Here's a second attempt. Right away, notice there is a big problem with this paraphrase. It is missing the in-text citation. Even if this was a perfectly written paraphrase, this too would be considered plagiarism because it implies that these ideas are original to the writer. In-text citations play an important role in a paper. They support the points being made. Notice how each in-text citation directs the reader to the full citations on the references page. Here's a final paraphrase example. This one looks good. It's shorter, which is common for a good paraphrase. It is different enough from the original text, and it includes an in-text citation. So how did I get to this good paraphrase? After reading the section on chromosomal abnormalities, I put it aside. I stopped looking at it and jotted down an outline with bulleted points with what I learned. Usually, what's most important in a passage is what you remember. Sometimes I even talk out loud to myself at this stage, which helps me put the text in my own words. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.